Lesson 2-4, Dividing Polynomials. There are two ways to divide polynomials, long division and synthetic division. Long division is done like long division with numbers, like you learned back in elementary school. So let's divide these. It's easiest to see how to do it just by doing it. All right, so the number on the bottom is what you're dividing by. It goes on the outside of the little symbol. The number on top goes inside a little symbol. Notice we have y to the fourth and y squared. We don't have any y cubes. So we have to include that we have zero y cubes when we set this up. We have to have every power of y. So now we have fourth third, second, first. All right, so to divide, we divide the first terms. y to the fourth divided by y squared is y squared. Then we multiply. y squared times y squared is y to the fourth. y squared times negative y is negative y cubed, and y squared times one is y squared. Then we subtract y to the fourth minus y to the fourth is zero. That'll always happen. Zero y cubed minus a negative. Remember this is minus a negative y cubed. So that's plus y cubed would be one y cubed. And two y squared minus y squared would be one y squared. Then we bring down and we repeat the process again. Divide the first. y cubed divided by y squared is y. Then we multiply. y times all of that. y times y squared is y cubed. y times negative y is negative y squared. And y times 1 is y. Then we subtract. y cubed minus y cubed is 0 y squared minus a negative, which makes plus, y squared plus y squared is 2y squared, and negative y minus y is negative 2y. Then we bring down. And do it all over again. Divide the first. 2y squared divided by y squared is 2. We multiply. 2 times y squared is 2y squared. 2 times negative y is negative 2y, and 2 times 1 is 2. Then we subtract. 2y squared minus 2y squared is 0. Negative 2y minus negative 2y is 0. And 5 minus 2 is 3. And then there's nothing else to bring down. So we're done. So we write our answer by putting the this is our remainder. You put your remainder over the divisor. And so this is the answer. That is the result, the quotient. Let's try another one. Set it up. Make sure we have all the powers of x, so we have x cubed, x squared, x to the first, constant, so we're all here. Divide the first terms. x cubed divided by x is x squared. And we multiply x squared times x plus 2 would be x cubed plus 2x squared. And then we subtract x cubed minus x cubed is 0. 4x squared minus 2x squared is 2x squared. And then we bring down. And then we do go all over again. Divide the first terms. 2x squared divided by x is 2x. Then we multiply. So 2x 
times x plus 2 would be 2x squared plus 4x. And then we subtract 2x squared minus 2x squared is 0. We have negative 3x minus 4x. Negative 3 minus 4 is negative 7x. And we bring down. And do it all over again. Divide the first. Negative 7x divided by x is negative 7. And then we multiply negative 7 times x plus 2 would be negative 7x minus 14. And then we subtract minus 7x minus negative 7x is 0. And 10 minus a negative or plus 10 plus 14 is 24. That is the remainder. There's nothing else to bring down, so we're done. And we write it as plus that over the divisor. And you have your quotient, the answer. It would be nice if there was a shortcut. We have synthetic division, which is a shortcut but only when dividing by a binomial. By binomial mean it's only dividing by x minus r. So it's just x minus or plus a number that you're dividing by. So let's use synthetic division on this problem. All right. Now we're going to take this number. Remember this is x minus negative 4. And it's always set up to be x minus a number. So we're going to put negative 4 over there in a box. Then we put all the coefficients with placeholders. So the coefficients are all these. Now we have to make sure we have all the powers of x. We have x to the fifth, fourth, third, squared, first, and the constant. So they're all there. So just put all the coefficients. Leave a space and put a line. We drop down the first thing. And then we multiply. Negative 4 times negative 5 is 20. And now we add negative 21 plus 20. Then we multiply. Negative 4 times negative 1. And then we add. Negative 3 plus 4 is 1. So we multiply, negative 4 times 1 is negative 4, and we add, 4 plus negative 4 is 0. Then we multiply, negative 4 times 0 is 0. Then we add, 2 plus 0 is 2. We multiply, negative 4 times 2 is negative 8. And we add, 2 plus negative 8 is negative 6. And now we're out of numbers, so that's the end. We put a box around the last number. The bottom row gives you the coefficients of the answer. And we call this a depressed polynomial. It's depressed because it's one exponent less. We had x to the fifth, and we divided by x. That gives you x to the fourth. It's one, x, it's one degree less. So it's depressed because it lost a power. It was to the fifth power, now it's to the fourth power. The number in the box is the remainder. So we're starting with one exponent less than the original since we divided by x. So it's negative 5x to the 4 minus 1x cubed plus 1x squared plus 0x, usually we don't write any 0, plus 2, and then the remainder, plus a negative 6 over x plus 4. Let's try another one. Well, this doesn't look like division. Well, sure, the negative 1 exponent means it goes on the bottom under the fraction bar. So what is dividing? We're dividing by, this is y minus a negative 2. So we always want it to be written as 
something minus, it's x minus or y minus. So we'll put negative two in our box. And then we need the coefficients with the placeholders. So we have one x to the fifth, zero x to the fourth, zero x cubed, zero x squared, zero x, and 32. Have to have those zeros or else it doesn't work. Drop down the one and multiply. Negative two times one is negative two. Then we add zero plus negative two is negative two. Then we multiply. Negative two times negative two is four. We add zero plus four. Then we multiply. Negative two times four is negative eight. And then we add zero plus negative eight is negative eight. Then we multiply negative two times negative eight is 16. Then we add zero plus 16 is 16. Then we multiply negative two times 16 is negative 32. We add and we get zero. So there is no remainder or the remainder is zero. All right, it was degree five, we're divided by y, so it's one less degree, so it's degree four. Remember the numbers on the bottom are the coefficients, so it's one, y to the fourth, negative two y cubed, four y squared, negative eight y, plus 16, and there's no remainder, so there's no fraction at the end. The factor theorem says that if you take a function, you divide it by x minus k, and the remainder is zero, then x minus k is a factor of f of x, which is pretty much the definition of a factor. Something is a factor if the remainder is zero when you divide. So let's show that x plus three is a factor of this function, and then find the remaining factors. So that means we're going to do synthetic division and show that the remainder is zero. So this is x minus a negative three, so I'll put negative three in the box. And then the coefficient, so I have one x cubed, zero x squared, negative 19 x minus 30. Drop down the one and multiply. Negative three times one. Then we add zero plus negative three. We multiply negative three times negative three is nine. Then we add negative 19 plus nine is negative 10. Then we multiply negative three times negative 10 is 30. Then we add and we get zero. So the remainder is zero. We have now shown that x plus three is a factor. Now we need to find the remaining factors. How would we do that? Well, we did have x cubed. So now this is x squared minus three x minus 10. This is quadratic. We should be able to just factor this. Get okay, x squared is x times x. Get negative 10 be negative five and positive two, which adds up to the negative three in the middle. So there are the remaining factors, x minus five and x plus two. And let's just, for the fun of it, write the x plus three in the front. So those are all the factors of our function, or we have now factored our function.